This is Tom Dillon, The Lifetime Liberal. Today is Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. Uh, the title of this rant is Women in the USA uh, Unite for Full Bodily Autonomy. So we all know what happened to Kate Cox in Texas, where she was denied an abortion, even though her fetus was totally unviable. And it had passed the whatever weeks it was for Texas. It was around 20 weeks. We all know what has happened, but I want to bring up a few important things. Number one, uh, the Texas Supreme Court uh, was made up of nine people, all white, six men, uh, three women. Number two, uh, that Supreme Court uh, basically blamed the doctors and saying that it was the doctor's fault that they hadn't proven that she was sick enough for, for an abortion to be okay. Number three, the uh, Texas uh, Attorney General, who's under indictment, has been under indictment for years, basically threatened to indict any doctor or any medical institution that was would help out Kate Cox, thereby assuring uh, that there would be the absolute minis minimal amount of abortions performed, if any are performed, in Texas. And of course, ever since the Dobbs decision that overturned Roe v. Wade, we know we have 14 states that have all-out bans, and we have about six or seven others that have uh, restrictions uh, 15 weeks and under. And it has caused uh, irreparable harm to many women all over the country, especially in those states. And, you know, let's just bring out what they're not saying about this, is that these are done, this is being done because these are laws that have been enacted in red states uh, by white Republicans, mostly men, uh, in terms of abortion rest restrictions. And they will not stop there, uh, and they're going to continue to try and restrict women's bodily autonomy. So I say to un unto all of my sisters in the USA, especially those uh, of those of color, and to all the men who love them, use your power and vote every single one of these Republicans out of office because that is the only way you will have an opportunity to have full bodily autonomy.